my intent was to do a cruise around the outside perimeter of the lake. Began the cruise, it, there was a dark night, no moon out. I don't know, maybe two minutes into the cruise where we had impact with a dock. And I don't recall the impact and from that moment on, I have no recollection of the accident. A well-known Orlando boat dealer is headed to prison because he was drunk when he caused a boat crash that killed a woman. Mark Watts was just sentenced after a six-year court fight. He smashed his boat into a dock on Lake Irma in 2006. Didn't even register in my mind at that point that I should have taken a few minutes and said, listen, I don't think this is a good idea. I know Mark can't look in the mirror without recalling it all, I mean, you know, because the scars are there and the memories are there. and. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll ever go away. <sighs> Just a few minutes it would have taken to make that decision. Uh, a young girl's life would still be here. It's horrible to think that a mistake like this would cause um, someone to lose their life, uh, you know, that young with so much ahead of her. Um, and I know Mark deals with that every day. The separation from my family, my wife, uh, being in here was devastating. You know, what I'm going through couldn't compare to a parents losing a child. So I know that I thank the Lord that I'm still here and there's a reason for me to still be here. Unfortunately, sometimes people just don't learn until it happens to them. And I see it, I see it even now with our friends. There's still people that drink and drive cars, drink and drive boats, and they see everything that we've gone through, everything we've lost. They're still doing it and it infuriates Mark and I both. You do not want to be me. You must take the time to think about consuming alcohol and operating a boat. I know it's fun. I know it's a leisure event. I know it's recreational. But there's a seriousness to it that you cannot consume alcohol and operate a boat because there could be deadly consequences. And I'm a witness to that. So uh, if there's one thing I could say is, be serious about it. It's not all fun and games. Make a serious decision and do not drink and drive the boat. A family losing their daughter, there's no doubt that that's the saddest part. I don't know how to explain it any better than that, you know. 